Hey, welcome back to Impact's Tech Tips. My name's Adam, and this time, let's focus on some typical printing hiccups that plague businesses everywhere. Whether it's a classic paper jam, empty ink cartridges, or something more complex, printer issues are common around the world. Luckily, most of these problems can be fixed quickly to get your machines back up and running as soon as possible. With decades of printing equipment experience, we've seen it all at Impact, and we're here to help you resolve some of these issues. First, let's start with printer problems caused by malfunctioning hardware. If your printer is producing documents with poor ink quality or documents look faded, you probably just need to replace your ink cartridges. This is a fairly easy process, but it does vary based on what equipment you're working with. Some general steps to take would be, one, open the ink cartridge compartment on your printer. Two, remove the old ink cartridges. And here's a tip, write down the cartridge manufacturer, model number, and color so you know exactly what to replace it with. Step three, prepare the new cartridges by removing any protective strips or tabs. Step four, drop the new cartridges into the slots and click them into place. Step five, print a few times to make sure everything is working before using it on important documents. You've probably seen them in movies or TV shows. It's the most famous type of printer mishap, the dreaded paper jam. To fix one, start by turning off and unplugging the printer. Then it's all about finding where the problem is by using the process of elimination. Check the paper tray where paper is stored, check the paper output area, and if possible, remove the back panels of the machine to check along the paper's route for signs of the jam. When you find it, safely remove it from the machine, plug it back in, and run some test prints to make sure it's working properly. A printer head is the component of your printer that houses the ink cartridges. Over time and a lot of use, dried ink can clog up and obstruct the flow of ink from the cartridge. You'll notice the drop in ink quality almost immediately. To fix it, you can use a damp paper towel to swab out the dried ink, or if the clog is a bit more extreme, you may have to soak or flush out the dried ink using a water or alcohol solution that can break down bigger chunks of dried ink. Either way, make sure the printer head is dry before putting it back in your machine. Bad cables are a common culprit for printers that just seem to stop working all of a sudden. But before you throw that USB cable in the trash, give it a quick examination and see if you can spot any damage to either the connection points or the cord itself. Even small cuts, dings, or misaligned pieces can result in a faulty cable. You can also try using the USB cable with other devices to ensure it's not just the printer. If you do find that your cable has been damaged or is just not working, you'll need a replacement. But luckily, most USB cables can do the job. The quick answer to this error is to close your paper tray. But all too often, printers refuse to operate, giving you a message that the paper tray is open, even if it's not. If this is the case, check that the paper is loaded into the tray correctly. Just one sheet slipping away can keep the tray from closing, even if it appears completely shut. A lot of the hardware issues we've discussed up to this point can easily be avoided with some routine maintenance and care for your machines. Clean and align your printer heads, frequently check ink levels, and generally just remove dust, dirt, and debris from the outside and inside. Frequent and routine cleaning and maintenance can help you avoid major headaches down the road. Another component of printer operations that's just as important is the software behind it all. Here are some issues related to printing software and how to solve them. A print spooler is a software component that manages the printing process on your computer or network. It's a program that allows you to queue print jobs and monitor the status of the printer. But if your print spooler runs into an error, it can halt the printing process. So if you notice print jobs not coming through or long delays, it might be useful to clear and reset your print spooler. To restart the spooler on Windows, just open the Run dialog by pressing the Windows and R keys, type services.msc, and hit Enter to open the Services window. In the Services window, locate the Print Spooler service. Right-click on Print Spooler and select Restart from the Context menu. On Mac, click the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Click Printers and Scanners, Control-click the printer from the list, then select Reset Printing System. Another way to fix a print spooler issue is to clear the current print jobs list to remove anything that may be causing a hiccup or stoppage. To do this on Windows, open the Services window as described in the previous step. Stop the print spooler service. Open File Explorer and navigate to the following directory. C colon slash Windows slash System32 slash spool slash printers. Delete all the files in the printers folder. Start the print spooler service again. On Mac, select the Apple menu, then System Preferences, click Printers and Scanners, select your printer, then X out of the print jobs you want to cancel. Outdated or incompatible printer drivers are another common issue that can negatively affect how your printer operates. Make sure you're using the latest drivers from your printer manufacturer's website. Or, if you believe your drivers might have become corrupted, you can re-download them from there too. 
You can save time and headache by selecting your printer as the default one for your computer. So print jobs automatically are sent to it instead of having to find the printer every time or accidentally having your print job sent to machines on a different floor or in a different building. Not every printer works on every computer. Before buying, make sure the printer is compatible with the model of your computer, your chosen operating system, Windows or Mac, and the version of that operating system. If you're really struggling to figure out what's wrong with your printer, your operating system most likely has the ability to troubleshoot the issue. Troubleshooting is a systematic approach that your computer takes to locate the cause of a problem. The computer will run through multiple tests to attempt to find the snag. On Windows, you can start a printer troubleshoot by going to Control Panel, navigating to Hardware and Sound, and Devices and Printers. Right-clicking your printer, then selecting Troubleshoot. On a Mac, press and hold Option, choose Apple Menu, then System Information. Select the printer in the hardware list and select Troubleshoot. Then, your computer will give you a series of things to try to fix the problem based on what it finds. Maintaining your fleet of printers keeps them running effectively, so annoying issues like paper jams, clogged printer heads, bad cables, or outdated drivers don't disrupt important print jobs.